Last year at this time, I decided that I wanted to build an ice cream trailer that nobody else had. So I sat down and I drew out on a piece of paper a layout for the interior of an 8.5 by 16 trailer. We have an Electrofreeze RMT360 Freedom Machine, which is an air machine. It sucks air in with the ice cream, gives you a half inch of ice cream and two inches of air, makes it into a two and a half, three inch cone. Um, um, on the interior, we have a fountain that services strawberries, pineapples, all different syrups. Underneath that, there's a refrigerator. A triple sink and a wash sink, which is health department approved. They're 18 by 14, and there's a five gallon hot water heater underneath the sink, and a, an electric water pump. We have uh, a list of events that we have left for the rest of the year, that whoever buys this trailer will get those lists, the, the list and the calendar and the ones that are all paid for, which are up until November, um, that comes with the trailer. Like, um, for an example, we did Conejo Valley Days, okay? And uh, we made $28,000, five days. Uh, we did Simi Valley Days last weekend, and we made $15,000 for five days, cash. Everything remains the same. You take the name Mr. Frost, you take the corporation, everything is up to date. There's no back taxes due on, the, on the, anything. The trailer is owned outright, so whoever buys it doesn't have to worry about someone coming to take it back. And um, if you can afford to pay for this in cash, then every nickel you make will be yours. I think that this is a business that not only sells itself, but I think that it's a very simple business to run because you don't have 15 different things on your menu. You have ice cream.